factory requires a lot of energy and concentration. I know one in valuable I learned just from doing my demo was not to necessarily <coughs> save the hard sell and high energy pieces to the end of the session. I'm just wondering, does fatigue factor into the way sessions are scheduled at all? Yeah, especially now that games are uh, such a huge part of uh, the gaming industry. We've got some chairs up here, yeah, you guys. Sit down. Yeah, come sit. You're at the stand. Come sit down. Uh, the gaming industry is now becoming a huge. Uh, and unfortunately, what a lot of the game sessions are, screaming. I just did uh, a game where I'm going to be one of four versions of this character that stands next to the player and yells at them the entire game or talks to them or says, Maybe you should go this way. Oh look, there's a lever on the floor. You know, I mean, it's just like, at the end, like, pick up the frickin' lever! You know, I mean, we do 30 sessions of screaming, screaming, screaming. So I would work all day and scream all night. And, you know, they said, we'd love to do four hours. And I just said, I can't. Vocally, I can't scream for four hours. Nobody can. It's just, you're dead after a while. And a lot of the actors now will call up and say, I'd love to do the game. How much screaming is there? We get calls from the agents too saying, how much screaming, just so I know, and if there's a lot, schedule me on Thursday or Friday. That way I have the weekend to recover because yeah. you're just dead. If you do it on Monday, you've blown your voice and you're out for a week and that that, that can be a lifetime in our, in our industry. So fatigue, I don't, you know, some people like, I guess in Texas, Funimation, they'll do like eight hour days. People come in for the day and they, they just record for eight hours. And I just think, how, how, I'd be dead well, we after used to do two. that, too. We used to do that. I mean, right. they changed it a little bit. Yeah, <coughs> unusable material, that might Yeah, I think so, well, too. I mean, how can you have such a deten uh, an attention to detail? You get the diminishing returns at some point. You know, you just can't deliver, you know. And yeah. I, I was on this one game. Uh, it's still ongoing. It's, it's one of those things where it's... it's uh, the guy brought me in, I was only supposed to be there for four hours, and it went six hours, and it was after another job that I did, so it was six hours of solid screaming. And at the end of it, he goes, oh, I saved the best loops for last, there's 10 loops of you being burned alive by a flamethrower. <laughs> I said, you need 10 loops of this? He goes, yeah, yeah, we need 10, and go. So after I did that, he goes, oh, wait a minute, I found I found a part for you. By this time, I'm, my voice is sounded like this. Yeah. And I'm going, he goes, I found a voice, I did only a few lines, and there's like 40 lines of these big paragraphs, and I'm going, this is bullshit. So anyway, I go, I go, okay, I did it, I didn't complain, and I did say something to my agent, I said, these guys are nuts, and so anyway, he said, well, they want you back again. I go, oh, great. I said, well, make sure I don't go any longer than four hours, and make sure that they don't have me screaming. So they said, they promise they won't do it again, and they, of course, they did it again, and I was screaming for four hours, and then I, I called my agent, they said, they did it again. He goes, well, they want you back again, and I said, I said, well, you've got to get me a lot more money or something, and so he made, he made some deal with them where they would only have me in for two hours, so I'm to go in for that session coming up but it's like uh, yeah. yeah it's just it is it's it nuts. really kills you and then i had the next day after doing that screaming i had a hallmark commercial i had to report for the radio <laughs> <laughs> and i went in there it sounded like this give your mom some nice flowers this <laughs> <laughs> or i'll kill you it's right but it's also up to uh, Oh, okay. Continue. Uh, it's up to us as directors, like for what Richard said, that, you know, I mean, I've been in sessions too, where it's screaming zombie, zombie, screaming, screaming zombie, and then they're like, and now we've got an 18-year-old for you to play, and I yeah. said, well, one, I couldn't have played the 18-year-old at the beginning of the session, but now that I sound like Brenda Vaccaro, I'm not going to definitely not going to be able to. Thank you, so some people actually remember There's Brenda Vaccaro. There's three people out here, Brenda Vaccaro. Brenda Vaccaro used to sell Tampax tampons. And she had a voice like this. And, and, she, and she was married to Michael Douglas. Damn back tampons. What a woman that is. Yeah. But that's what we all sound like after a session. I know guys You're like You're the breathing. <laughs> I'm Brenda Vaccaro. It's like Marge's sisters on The Simpsons. Kind of it's pretty nasty. So it's up to us to make sure that we treat our actors well. Otherwise, one, they won't want to come back. Uh, two, they'll ask for too much money. And uh, three, we'll blow out their voices, and it's just not. Well, the good thing is fair. both Mary and I are actors, so we understand it from both sides of the mic, and yeah. we know that when someone's in there, what's going to tax their voice, and you know, I'm, I'm sure you, you know, you go out of your way to give them breaks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's really taxing, and I do the same, and so we're we're aware of it. Unfortunately, not everybody that directs this stuff has any clue what they're doing or has ever directed or acted or written or anything and sometimes they just think well I can do that and they get in there and they think the actors are machines that they can just basically push them to the max and keep pushing and pushing and pushing and they're not machines we're, 
for people, and you know, it just doesn't work that way. So. Yeah. You said when you did your demo, are you doing? Uh, do you do voiceover work? Or do yeah. you? Uh, very cool. Do do the demo? It's got a nice ghost oh. t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Find me on Facebook. <laughs> in the park after 11. That's right. <laughs>